Welcome back, Game Maker. How to make an object like this tower fire directly towards this player instead of just in a random direction. So let's go coding our tower here. Um, I'll just do a simple fire. I'll use the step event. So it's going to be firing a lot. So step. And let's add a little bit of code. Uh, first thing I'll do here is I'm going to just create something to fire towards a player. So I'll use that ball. I'll give that ball a speed. And now I'm going to set the direction of this ball. Now there's a built-in method inside a game maker that tells us the direction from one point to another point. And that method is called point direction. And you can see down here at the bottom after you type it out, point direction requires you give it two points, an x and y coordinate and another second x and y coordinate. All you have to do here is plug this in for the tower, plug that in for the player, and then it's going to go straight towards the player. Now we are assuming you only have one player on the screen here. Here would be the simple way. I want to go from the direction of the X and Y of my tower, and I want to go to the X and Y of my player. Now this code does have one little issue. If you don't have a player on the screen, this code will break. So, you know, you have to make sure you have a player on the screen for this to work. I'll show you afterwards a little protection you can put in there in the event there is no player on the screen. Now, that's really it. Okay, this will find the direction. So maybe uh, from this X and Y to that X and Y, maybe the angle is 213 degrees. ABC dot direction equals 213. And that's as simple as that is for that method lets you know the directions. Let's give it a go. And remember, I put that in the step. It's going to happen quite fast, right? But you can see there the neat little effects you can get. It actually works just fine. If you're smart, you don't even get hit. Now, what's that little correction I told you about in the event the player's not on the screen? You can do one little trick here. Since you're running this code, you don't want it to run if the player does not exist. So one little thing you could sneak, if you think the player maybe uh, disappears from your room for some reason, is you could always do this check here. You could say if instance exists, O player, then it's okay to run this code. And so you do a little check first, right? If there is a player in the room, then you can do this safely and fire at the player. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you find that useful in your games.